Tim DeVivo from Willimantic Waste Paper Company. Whenever you have a construction project or a special clean out at your house, there's always a large amount of waste materials around. In the past, the bulky waste used to be landfill or otherwise discarded. But now, thanks to our investment in state-of-the-art technology, we're able to take your roll-off dumpster filled with all sorts of waste and separate it out. Let's show you how. From construction sites to backyard projects, recycling materials are all around us. Like wood and metal, plastic, cardboard, paper, and concrete. We can recycle almost everything. In today's world, everything we use has another life. Nothing should be wasted. Willimantic Waste Paper is dedicated and equipped to make recycling as easy as possible. This process begins with all of us. Construction and demolition waste, or C&D, commonly called bulky waste, is generated from the cleanup, renovation, repair, and demolition of houses, buildings, roads, and dams all over New England. C&D waste is made up of plastic, wood, steel, cardboard, concrete, sheetrock, masonry, metal, tires, mattresses, furniture, and much more. C&D recycling involves the process of recovering the recyclable items from the C&D waste and preventing them from going into the landfill. Once collected, C&D materials are delivered to our recycling facility located at 1590 West Main Street in Willimantic, Connecticut. Here, the C&D waste is processed in our Lubo sorting system. Each collection truck stops at a certified weigh scale. Gross tonnage is tracked for accountability. Incoming C&D recycling materials are dumped onto an area called the tipping floor. The driver visually inspects each load. This quality control step is designed to prevent unwanted contamination from entering the sorting system. Once cleared, an excavator fitted with a grapple feeds the mixed C&D onto a vibrating table designed to spread out materials for better processing. Next, the materials are fed onto a conveyor that takes the material to the first sorting station. There, sorters pick out stringy material and large metal. The material then goes through a primary star screen that separates large debris from smaller debris. Material that measures more than 18 inches goes through a sort conveyor with bins beneath it. Workers stationed at each bin pick out different materials, rigid plastic, cardboard, aggregate, wood, ferrous and non-ferrous metal. Material smaller than 18 inches falls through the primary screen and is then processed over a second star screen. This process separates out the fines and sends the remaining debris to a vacuum system that pulls light fractions from the mix. Material then passes under overhead magnets, which pulls out metal. After it goes through the vacuum and the magnet, what's left are shingles, concrete, and wood. At this point, all materials have been separated by type. The recycling materials recovered from this process are marketed to various sources where they will be recycled into similar or new products. Non-recyclable items are transported to the landfill. With your conscious effort, together with Willimantic Waste Paper's services and technology, we will create a more sustainable planet. 